Joseph, do you take Kristen to be your best friend, your faithful partner, and your one true love? Do you promise to encourage, inspire, and to truly love her through the good times and the bad? Will you be there to laugh with her, lift her up when she is down, and to love her unconditionally through all of life's adventures? I do think I will. It is a journey. It, it is, you know, you're just starting, but it's a, it's, it's a trip and you don't know how far it'll be or how long it will take. But if you're together and if you work together as a team and communicate and speak with each other, it makes the trip a lot less burdensome. Wonder what it's like to get to hold them every night. So I remember one of the first times that she actually started talking about Joe. It used to be a trio, Ruth and Kristen and I, and then Joe started coming. And it became very obvious that Joe was every bit as kind, and generous, and intelligent, and supportive as Kristen, and that they were the perfect match for each other. Kristen, I love you. I have spent my whole life looking for my other half. You are my love and my everything. Without you, my life has no meaning. I cannot wait to spend a lot of time loving you. I used to think the moon must be out of his mind. <laughs> So we're standing here today after four years of growing our relationship and deciding to commit our lives to one another. You have shown me what unconditional love means. You have been an inspiration to me and encouraged me to be the best version of myself. You have shown me you are the perfect partner for me. Driven, adaptable, funny, caring, and handsome. Everything in me recognizes your heart as my home. From today onward, you and I will be one in heart, body, and mind. My friend and love stay true. You have me completely. My love is never ending. I will always love you, no matter what. Joe, I vow to always be there for you, to be your biggest supporter, a listener, your comfort, I vow to be faithful, to be your best friend, and to always be by your side through the ups and downs. I'm so proud that today I get to become your wife. I love you and I can't wait for our future together. It is my honor and delight to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. I do know one important thing though, that's about Kristen. She's made Joe happier than I've ever seen him in my life. So you don't have to marry the person that you can live with, but you marry the person that you cannot live without. And Joe and Kristen tonight have shown us that. The adventures you would go on by yourself like when you went to Iceland on your own and hiked Iceland and I was like who is this woman she is just incredible and now Joe gets to participate with all of that with you so I can't wait to see all the adventures that the two of you will have together and I'm so excited for your marriage together and seeing all that you're gonna accomplish as a couple so congratulations I love you guys Happy. 
uh, to see Joe and Kristen. I think everybody's great. And these, uh, these are wonderful people. He's my best friend and Kristen's wonderful. Let's all congratulate the newlyweds and since Joe's married, to my best friend. I offer you the bride and groom and I hope that their years together will be long and full of health. I hope their children will be strong and healthy and as they say in the fairy tale books, live happily ever after. With great joy, I present to you for the first time, Dr. and Mrs. Romano.